All right, now I'm about to do the same attack I did in the previous video, except this time it's 100% wireless. Previously, I connected this Mac to my network with a wire, and I think it also connected wirelessly at that time, but now both devices are only wireless on an 802.11g network. So, the attack is six shooter here. Start the stopwatch, and that should now take effect. And as you see, it is flooding the surface with random IP version 6 addresses. The Mac shows the usual structure, six simulated routers at the top, followed by a lot of random addresses at the bottom. The total amount of network traffic is visible in the corner. And it's about 25 megabit, megabytes per second, which is about as much as you can possibly move through this kind of network. Considering it's 802.11g, I think those can't be megabytes per second, those must be megabits per second. Anyway, we're showing just about the same profile as before here. And if we watch the time, if it's the same as the wired attack, the surface will die in one or two minutes or so. Possibly up to four minutes and the Mac won't die at all. And it looks like we're on track to have that result again. One thing I've kind of wished I could find is some clue of when it's going to die, or what you can see on the surface, but I never have noticed one. There it goes. 1 minute and 57 seconds. The service is dead. The Mac continues ticking along. Alright. 